Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 on my team, Road to Glory. Episode number 232. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Rivals Rewards Day, I guess. For those of you that are still playing that game mode, um, go and enjoy your rewards. Hopefully, you get a blue or two. That all rhymed, so... The only conclusion I can come to from that is that you should hit the thumbs up button on the on the video. Uh, yeah, just smash a like if you enjoy. One to two thousand likes would be our aim today. And of course, subscribe as well to the channel if you're new around here. Uh, so today, we're going to start off with like a guaranteed, I think, EFL Tots pack. I'm then going to switch to my full-on Prem team. Get a little bit more progress done within that horrible, disgusting Prem Tots Cup thing. Uh, and then go back to my main squad, which is like this type thing. Do a little bit of rivals or show you a couple of rivals. I actually end up going on my eight game win streak. Not a streak, but get my eight wins. Uh, spoiler alert. So we start with a little walkout from the daily login of all things. The two player pack from it as well. And also, that's one thing to note actually. You will have got it last night, I believe. If you've done the daily upgrade or the daily login every day, um, you will unlock yourself the, the 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 84 times 5. I actually need to, whilst we're, whilst we're watching this, I need to go on my pay-to-win account and make sure that I've done the daily login because I'm a day or two behind on that account and I don't want to end up like missing out. So, uh, yeah, we're on the road to glory. We're doing the EFL tots. Let me just make sure I've done all the daily login stuff on both accounts. And I end up getting English, uh, left mid from Northampton. It is uh, Hoskins. So we already have him on the RTG. So what we need to do is, well, essentially just sell the other one because luckily it's tradable uh, and we don't have to, we don't have to like find a SPC for it. I've been grinding away on my pay to win, which is what I use for like the shorts content. And when streaming does happen, that will be another account that I can use. Um, I'm just still trying to figure it out. It's just not that many hours in the day I found, which is annoying. Um, but I desperately want to stream. So I'm hoping it, hoping really, really, really soon, guys. Um, so yeah, I, I got him, sold him, and I've been grinding away on the on the other account, like the one I'm now logging into, my pay to win, just to make sure I've done the daily SBC. Uh, but I've ended up getting Mitoma and Paulinho. I did, grinded all those SBCs. Have I done the daily? Is it there? Is it there? I think I've done it, you know. Good. Because, yeah, I have done it. Cool. Right, well, uh, it's good to know because I, I, I don't want to be that far behind. I know I'm already a couple of days behind on that account. Um, but, yeah, if, if, on the RTG, we've done it literally every single day from the start. So we should get a couple of decent packs in the next few days, as well as a guaranteed TOTS pack um, once it's all done after, what is it, 22 daily logins? Um so yeah, obviously there was a patch on FIFA. This gameplay here is the night before it came out. And then the day of will be when we're playing our rivals matches from yesterday or today as I'm filming this. Um, but yeah, I think I think the, the patch broke the game on next gen PS5 for a little bit. Apparently it kept crashing everyone's game constantly if you've done the update. And uh, I hope that hasn't affected you guys. Hopefully it's all fixed and stuff. But um, apparently... One of the ways to sort it out was to, like, delete some friends if you had over 100 friends. Uh, I'm on Xbox, so I don't really know. But it's just, just a heads up for any of you. That might help you out. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, I decided to to play my five games <coughs> on, on this particular day of this disgusting sweaty cup. Uh, one thing I notice is that I genuinely have about 30 to 40% possession when I play this cup. I don't know what it is. My opponents hold the ball so very well, and it is, it's just mega disgusting. I, I, I can't really explain it more than that. Um, what I will say is that surely, so if this is based on like my division rivals league that I'm in, Div 2, um, I should be, I, I, I'm gathering that the friendlies game mode has a wider search base for players than, than division rivals. Let's say if I'm in Div Div, what am I in? I'm in Div 4, nearly Div 3. So I reckon I can play Div 4 and maybe Div 3 players in Rivals. Whereas this one is wider. So I could play Division 6 players probably. 
but I could also probably play Division 2, Division 1 players. And it just feels like that's what I'm coming up against constantly. I don't know what it is, but uh, really, really utterly horrible and disgusting, I'll be honest. And I, after this, I end up getting three out of five wins on this little session. Uh, I'm hoping to just get two wins out of the next five um, that I play. I mean, it's, it's 25 to 6 now so in 25 minutes i can go again uh and there's two more opportunities for me to do that so 10 more games to get two more wins should be doable of course but i want to do it in the next in the you know in the next day so i can get that pl tot guarantee pack um and that will be at the end of this video as if the guaranteed prem tots sbc doesn't come out i find out at 6 p.m I think it's the night that it should come out, the SBC. And if so, we'll do the SBC for tonight's video, uh, and I'll move over to Live Lasty. Uh, and if not, I'll grind out a couple of wins on the, the sweaty game mode uh, in order to get the Prem Tots. So in the next couple of days, or the next couple of episodes, we should have Prem Tots guarantee, Prem Tots guarantee. Uh, and that's what we like to see. Now, I'm hitting the gritty there because my opponent did it when he went 1-0 up. I didn't do it for the other three goals, but as soon as I got 4-1 up and kind of felt safe, I decided, yeah, we'll hit him back with the gritty. Um, and see you later, buddy. So, yeah, like I said, three out of five wins. For winning seven matches, we end up getting a 284-plus players pack. That's pretty good. During tots, of course. Um, could end up getting something good. As long as you don't end up getting 284 golds, then you're all right. We can hope to get blue here, of course. Let's open it up and see what we get. Is it blue? No. Well, like I said, as long as it's not 284s, we're... All right. Uh, 284s. Sag. Um, and I'm not going to lie. The, the last two games of that tournament that I played that night is the ones that I lost. I won the first three. So I was in a mood. <laughs> I hate that game mode so much. I think I've already said it like 10 times in this episode. And I've said it in previous episodes as well. I think you guys get it by now, don't you? I don't really like the game mode. Um, so that was like the Prem team that I was using just, again, switching out the midfielders and attackers to see what I like. And then this is the current main squad that I'm going to go into some rivals with. Uh, I actually end up making a bunch of changes just along the way. Like, I think in one of the games, I got sent off with Rio. So the next game, I just used Desai, and that, that fitted in and worked perfectly. Um, midfield at the moment, what have I got? Casemiro, Bruno, and Kevin De Bruyne. Well, Kevin De Bruyne is probably the only mainstay in that one. I will chop and change between Zizou, Bruno, G. I think he's already in the squad, isn't he? Erdegaard, Palinia, Joel Linton. Like, there's just so many options, isn't there? So uh, I'll, I'll chop and change between, between those guys as and when I see fit, you know, depending on what I find is working for me. I'm trying to basically find the three in midfield that really work for me. I've got this issue with... When I use Casemiro and actually Paulinho as well. So I'm playing um, De Bruyne as the right centre mid, which is where I used to play Zidane. The one that kind of gets up and attacks. Uh, and then like obviously Casemiro in the in the CDM type spot. But they, they switch for some reason. And I've never really noticed that when it's Zidane and somebody else. But my Casemiro seems to be out on the right centre mid quite a lot. And De Bruyne is kind of far back. So don't really know how to fix it. Like a lot of the time it works as normal, but I'm just noticing it quite often that my players are just not in the right position, which is really strange. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't find it when I play the friendlies mode. I just find it when I play this uh, just in, in Rivals, which by the way, Rivals is a breath, breath of fresh air compared to that friendlies mode. It just it is so weird and it shouldn't be because like obviously this is much tighter matchmaking restrictions so have i just been getting unlucky every time in that friendly game mode matching up against uber sweats or like are there just sweats in every division and and some people don't play rivals anymore i think that's probably more the case um but yeah this this batch of rivals was genuinely like very chill i did all eight wins in an hour and 13 minutes i think it was my elgato recorded which not going to lie, is, is really quite good. It's probably the, one of the quickest sessions I've had in Rivals. Um, and normally, for the last probably three months, we've all said Rivals is one of the ho most horrible game modes and 
Uh, it's more competitive than any other game of FIFA. And actually, I found this to be really chill. Like, I didn't want to get myself promoted. So every time I was getting on a little streak, I would gift a win away um, just to knock myself off the hot streak and knock myself away from getting into Division 3. Um, just because that's what you guys seem to suggest to me, like uh, as to why my friendlies might be a bit more difficult is because... I keep getting promoted every season uh, and then going back to Div 4 and then get promoted to Div 2 again. Well, what's the point, right? The Rivals Awards aren't that great. Might as well just kind of stay down here and hope that it gives me a fun experience. Now, I'm still losing games, but I'm winning games comfortably sometimes and getting rage quits. And it's, uh, it's really sort of like mi a mixed bag of really decent players that I lose to. And I'll happily quit a couple of goals down in Rivals. Uh, and it seems that a lot of my opponents will happily quit when I'm a couple of goals up in Rivals. So, yeah, all good. In, in The best FIFA gaming experience I've had in the last couple of weeks, since TOTS anyway, was playing this batch of Rivals, um, which is very odd. Uh, you would not have caught me saying that a couple of weeks ago, I'll tell you that. Uh, weekend League is sweaty. Uh, obviously, the, the friendlies game mode is sweaty. This seems to be where the people are chilling out right now. Um, so maybe I'll base myself here for a bit. But yeah, I was 2 0 up and uh, kind of cruising. Found a lot of space down the right hand side against this guy and was just abusing it. And yeah, we end up getting 3 0 up. Get the eighth win. Um, and it, what it's going to give me is rewards for tomorrow's episode uh, because. Well, it's the day you'll be opening your awards today, but I will, I'll will i get them for you for tomorrow, uh, and as well as a, another Premier League guaranteed team of the season player, and hopefully we'll just carry on packing good stuff. Daily upgrade, will, or the daily uh, login SBC will be a good one for you for tomorrow's video, so there should be lots of good packs. Maybe I can craft some upgrades from it as well, and uh, leave Premier League team of the season in style with a bang, getting some more. It'd be really nice to pack one more big one, wouldn't it? Um, I am part of the very small club of people that haven't packed Zinchenko or Ramsdale. Have I packed? No, yeah, I haven't packed either of them. Um, so I'll still take them at some point, actually. They can give me them if they want. I know they're the cheap ones, but I'll take them. But it'd be, yeah, it'd be amazing if we could pack one more big one um, or actually get a first owner, Harry Kane. That'd be really nice just because I could then sell this one and have a few more coins. That would be the best possible solution, apart from getting a Rashford or a, a, a Haaland, of course, or a Salah. Uh, but yeah, only thing left to do now is move over to Live Lasty for a guaranteed Premier League Team of the Season pack. Uh, it will either be from the SBC or I'll grind out a couple wins in the friendlies. It all depends on what drops, and um, you guys will know more about that than me. And future live lasty who's going to appear on screen any minute will know all about that so uh yeah good luck with your pack tom and uh good luck to you guys as well hope you get some good premier league team of the season players all right ladies and gentlemen did we get the premier league tots pack tots daily login of course premier league tots upgrade two squads an 85 and an 87 what i feel like that's a lot 584 plus players. Cool. All right. I mean, even if we literally got 584s, it would probably help me get this thing done. Come on, then. Gives a blue. We're going to get a, a black and green card. It's an 87 Ryan. Uh, so no tots then, right? Unless these have a higher pack weight. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty trash. Not going to lie. That's not great. But i got to remember these cards uh, and put them in. So... Yeah, that's that's not ideal, really, is it? Okay, uh, so we can at least do that, and I guess we just submit this. The 87, all right, or maybe I keep a tots. Get rid of Declan Rice into the club still, and then does that... Oh, we had the perfect rating. That, my friends, is the perfect rating. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's all right. It's not too big of a deal, uh, but I do think it's quite expensive. So, let's go for it. Premier League Tots upgrades. Who are we going to get? This is normally one of the most anticipated packs of the year for most people. But with Prem Tots being the way it is this year, there's a lot of, like, not valuable players. And you're going to be very lucky to get something great. <sighs> Smash the thumbs up button. Give me that little extra slice of luck. Boom. I've opened it. Please don't be someone that I've got or someone of not very much value. We get French centre-back from Arsenal. I will take that all day long. Welcome to the club, Saliba. He looks insanely good. 
And I tell you what, that might replace one of my icons. That might replace Rio slash Desai. Very happy with that. I think he's 300k plus. It's a valuable one. So there's no complaints from me. What a good value SBC that is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, that's I'm really happy with that. Six foot four, 87 pace. Just looks beastly, not going to lie. Uh, and he is difficult. I've played against him in game quite a lot. Tough to get past. So Saliba, welcome to the club. Oh, that worked out. But now, in you go. Oh, 31. Okay, so Giles drops a bit of chem. But in all honesty, I was just testing him out. Um, Damn it, Ashley Cole can go back in. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end the episode right there. We've done our guaranteed Prem Tots. Who did you get? Did you get someone that was more valuable than the SBC costs? I want to know. I'm curious to know. Have a good one. Smash a thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. The links are down below. I'm about to go and put the AC on because it is boiling today. Uh, and I will catch you again tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you then. Peace.